Thank you for uh, asking me this question. As you have asked me, which thing has motivated me? Only the students have motivated me. The students were asking the questions. When the student is asking the question to the teacher, then you can imagine the, what is the status of the teacher at that time. If the students are asking the question, then the teacher is successful. Otherwise, that class in that class, teacher is not considered to be successful teacher. Yes, sir. Really right. Just like you are going village to village and school to school, you are doing this just to serve the society or for commercial purpose? No, no, it's not uh, for commercial purpose. It is for the society, society to serve the people. Only some of the illiterate people they don't know what is the telescope, what is microscope. Even they don't know. Yes, yes, sir. So I have to show them that this this instrument is a telescope, this instrument is a microscope, uh, yes, this sir. is happening like this, this is doing like this. So I have to do this only, I am doing for the social cause only, it's okay. not for commercial purpose. Always remember this thing, honesty is the best policy, speak the truth and the third thing, always have a close approach to your teacher. Either your teacher is calling you, rather you have to approach your teacher. As soon as you approach your teacher, only then you can learn from your teacher. Otherwise, it is not possible. And second thing, if you are asking your teacher any question in a humble way, then your teacher is giving you the answer. Not even a single time, he will be answering you so many times. Phobia. Oh no, this is not a phobia. Mathematics is not a phobia, it is just a lack of practice, nothing else. If you are practicing every time, then you are having no phobia, right? Sir, sir, now you are serving the society and now what will be your future goals ahead? Uh, my future goal is simply uh, how to motivate the students uh, to learn mathematics and science because students are running away from science and mathematics day by day the strength in the streams like science and mathematics streams are uh, coming down day by day it is coming down the my only uh, i mean to say that my view is okay, students must come to this stream because only the last message is to learn science learn science without science nothing is possible in this world so like to share the support of your family and your kids your wife your better half ah yes 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 my wife is always ready to uh, send me on the places like uh, i'm uh, going abroad as uh, in the india you can say i'm going to west bengal i'm uh, going to bangalore and like that and my wife is always supporting me okay uh, you can go i will uh, look after the home that is very great sir is the relation between the science and nature science and nature mm. but uh, science is nothing but it is the study of nature as you know that physics physics is the study of nature and natural phenomenon mm. right so this is the direct relation if you are having a nature with you then nature is giving us so many things and science is proving all these concepts or things or laws you can say this is a direct relationship between science and nature Okay, sir. Thank you. Okay, welcome. Can you take any one of your model with us? Uh, yes, why not? So I can explain. Can motivate our students. <laughs> uh, yes, yes. As you know, uh, we are having uh, 206 bones in human skeleton. Have you ever counted your number of bones? No. 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 Then I came to know, then I started counting, then I uh, searched out for how many bones are in hand, how many bones are in... I can make you understand within one minute, you are having 206 bones. And how many bones are in hand, how many bones are in hand, how many bones are in hand. You have read about only 206 bones are no, there. Sir, actually, when we are baby, we are having more bones. 310 bones. 300 yes. something. Right? When those bones get merged. In yes. hands, we are having 25 or 26 bones in only in our hand. 27. Huh. 27 bones are there. Maybe that's why the head. Sir, you are man of physics. You know uh, chemistry, biology and mathematics very well. How do you carry all this knowledge uh, knowledge of, of these subjects? These are the only blessings of my parents and my teachers. Respected teachers have given me this chance. <laughs> these are to my parents and teachers. Thank you.
Sir, uh, since come you, this, come this uh -huh. sir, since you were also a student in at your time, so if that's not personal, would you like to share what is the turning point in your life that motivated you to do all these? At that time, my teachers was inspiring me to do something uh, something different from other students. When they are asking me to do different, I was uh, doing different things because I was a very obedient student of my teachers. You can say, and I was the head boy of the school. At that time, the whole school was doing PT show and like under my guidance. And I also know that time when uh, I disobeyed my uh, respected teacher, and teacher gave me the slap on my mouth. Okay. These were the blessings you can say from my teacher. So you are really motivating sir. I also want to become like you. Sir, any piece of advice would you like to give to ne everyone? Never, never try to come like any other person, but uh, try to come like individual person. Individually you can do wonders in the world. So for teachers? And for teachers sir? For teachers. For teachers, teachers can do. Uh, they, they are not supposed to copy the other people. They are supposed to do something different from other people. Thank you so much, sir. We're really enthralled by your ideas.